After years of waiting and wondering, Earth has finally started to move as part of a massive environmental cleanup project in Cleveland. And when it's complete, there are even bigger plans in place for Clark Field. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg with more on what's in store for all that land. Clark Field in Tremont sits right in Cleveland's Industrial Valley. And as you can tell, the park certainly has seen its better days. Those better days are coming, however, but in order to get there, you have to cover up years of what industry left behind. If you lose yourself in the chest high weeds, Chris Bragg will be there. 57 years. To tell you what Clark Field once was. Practice right there, football field. There was two baseball fields over there. And what it could be. Ran it for a while. I'm glad to see this happening. For years, the planned environmental remediation of the site lay dormant. But now, mounds of earth and heavy machinery have begun to move. What we're doing, bringing in uh, clean soil, to put a barrier between the contaminated soil and what people could come in contact with in general. A two foot barrier of clean soil will serve as a protective layer between the people and the byproducts of heavy industry, including lead and arsenic. After the EPA finishes its $5.9 million project, the city plans a nearly $3 million renovation of the park. Corey Reardon says mid 2000s that it was rezoned to parkland. Clark Field and the towpath that bisects it are important pieces to Tremont's renaissance. Whenever we get uh, public investment, we see a lot of private investment directly after it. And uh, the towpath trail is a once in a generation type of investment in recreational infrastructure. So we're very excited to see that come into fruition and uh, connect that 139 miles right through our neighborhood. Considering how often he uses the towpath. Yeah, every day. Perhaps there's no one more excited than Bragg to see his neighborhood and his home field come roaring back. Went up for the better, it was like going to Bandit too, like this place right there, is everywhere. Everybody drives the bikes right down here, the main spot. As for a projected completion date, well, that's where things get a little bit murky. A spokeswoman from the US EPA tells me that it will depend on two things the weather and funding. We'll keep you updated. Reporting in Tremont, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.